everybody and on today's Dino Rider video I'm going to talk about the Dino Riders that I owned as a kid and my memories with them as well so yeah I discovered Dino Riders um, when I was young it was pretty much the the video cassette that I found at the shops and then seeing the commercials and things like that I just wanted the toys and I remember walking into Toy World back in the days in the late 80s would have been 89 90 and yeah just seeing the Dino Riders right there and I remember the T-Rex was there but um, my dad allowed me to pick one I wasn't allowed to pick obviously the big T-Rex or Diplo or any of those so my first one was Rasp with the Pranodon. And I just remember we were going to pick up my sister from school that day. For some reason I had a day off. I can't remember why. I wasn't at school that day. And yeah, went to pick up my sister and we're just in the car. It was a Kingswood for you Australian viewers are holding Kingswood and I was there, I opened the box and I was looking, you know, at the parts and putting it together. And I remember, you know, going home in the backyard, flying this, having a great adventure. Yeah, so great memories of this one. Rasp always holds a special place in my heart as, you know, he's my first, first Dino Rider character. He was well known in the cartoon series and yeah that's my first one and obviously I just love the cartoon like you know most of the kids at that time and just wanting more and more Dino Riders and what I remember the next one that I had gotten and my mum got me this one which was the Dionychus, the Valorian one. And again, I had two Dino Riders now, I had a, a Goody and a Batty, and you know, they went into battles together. Another nice Dino Rider. And, and I like to say as well, all the Dino Riders that I'm showing, these are not my original toys that were long 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 broken and well played with long time ago so these are all Dino Riders that I have purchased years ago as an adult and yeah common things you know parts breaking and all that so this was my second Dino Rider no, it's this guy so it's gonna fall all right so the next one was one of my bigger Dino Riders and at the time my dad was going to Canada to see his brother that he hadn't seen in a long, long time. And he asked me, what do you want me to bring you back from Canada and America? And I just said, Dino Riders, Dino Riders, just bring back Dino Riders. And my dad came back with this, the Triceratops. Unfortunately, when he did bring it, he only bought the Dino Rider itself and the instructions and the weapons. No box. Obviously, the box would have been too big to fit in the suitcase, but I was just wrapped. I had a Dino Rider. I had one that walked so I could, you know, mimic the commercials. And, yeah, I was hoping for a T-Rex or a Diplo, but got the Triceratops, which is a fabulous Dino Rider itself. And I was the type of kid that loved show and tell and taking my toys to school, which so many of them got broken and bits and pieces got stolen. And I remember I took this like an idiot to school. And like, Dino Riders were really popular and this was more of the more expensive Dino Riders at the time. And I remember Hammerhead here, got, he got stolen. One of the kids stole it, and I knew which kid stole it. It was one of the like the kids who were one of those kids that are a bit of a bully, and he took it. And 
And I remember, I, I, like, I tried to confront him, and even with the teacher, and he said, no, no, I didn't take it, I didn't take it, but I knew we took it. But at the time at school, around that period, we had these lollies, these eucalyptus type of lollies that were very popular at the canteen at the time. They were like 10 cents. And his best mate, the guy that stole my hammerhead, he was from a very poor family. They didn't get sweets or any toys or anything like that. So, and he loved those eucalyptus lollies. He was always trying to scavenge them off other kids. So I approached him pretty much the next day and I was like sucking on one of those lollies and and I had a bunch in my hand. And I pretty much, and he goes, oh, can I have one? Can I have one? I go, no, 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 no. I go, if you get me back my hammerhead, I'll give you these five eucalyptus lollies. And pretty much, I don't know how we did it, but uh, later on that day, he came back, he came with my hammerhead and I actually gave him the lollies. So that's how I got back my hammerhead. But I remember the feeling that I had when it was actually stolen and it was a lesson learned. Don't take these more desirable, expensive toys to school. I hope it is hammerhead. I've got to double check now. Give me a sec. Hammerhead. Yeah, it is hammerhead. You know, someone's like confused the names of the of the characters. So after that one, um, it was straight into series two. And again, my mother got me the Proceratops. And yeah, I really liked, even this was a smaller Dino Rider, I just really liked the design of it with the cannons and the way the character equipped in the into the harness. So this one was one that I really liked and I had a lot of fun with. And then we got the Dimetrodon, which is another fabulous Dino Rider. Excellent um, design. A bit of fluff there, a lot of fun with this one as well. And from there, I remember getting the Cephalosaurus. Another great rider. So most of my riders were from, well, there's only seven that I've got here. So mostly from series two. And I think series two is the best series just over series one. So we had this guy with Tag, another great Dine Rider, had a lot of fun with him. And I remember for my birthday, it was one only one Dine Rider that I really, really wanted. And we had that, my mum actually put it on lay-by for me from Kmart back in the day. And it was this guy, my favorite Dine Rider of all time. The Kentrosaurus. Just the design. I love the character Croc. I love the tail whip in the cartoon. Great episode with this and Ed Edmond Tonya going at it. Just a beautiful, beautiful Dino Raider. And again, another one that's uh, fragile with the... Especially with the... Um, brain box actually that's a, probably the most fragile part the brain box and those hinges otherwise it is quite a st sturdy dino rider and this was my favorite back then and it's my favorite now because of the memories that i had it was just an amazing dino rider getting it for my birthday after so many weeks on lay-by and and playing with it so so these were the dino riders I had as a kid and obviously if you were one of the kids that had the Dip Diplo, Bronto, T-Rex, the Taurosaurus, you, you were quite lucky, I always wanted those ones but I ended up with these so a good assortment and unfortunately when Series 3 had come out I was kind of done with Dino Riders, I was on to other things and, and in my local area that, I never saw them. They were very limited releases in certain areas with um, Series 3. And the only way I know is because I, I have seen stickers like from Maya 
on some of the Ice Age and some of the Series 3 boxes very rarely, but otherwise, yeah, I didn't, didn't get to experience those. I'm sure that if I did see them in the shop, I would have definitely would have bought them. So anyway, let me know in your in the comments which Don Riders you owned as a kid. For me, these are the ones I owned, and obviously the ones I wanted the most were the T-Rex, the Taurosaurus, and the in the Diplodocus. So the ones that I really, really wanted. I used to grab my like you've seen me review those rubber dinosaur toys, those plastic ones. I used to build harnesses with them with Lego. I tried to stick, put these harnesses on them, and make custom armor and just play like that. So a lot of great memories and yeah glad that i was able to you know relieve that relieve those childhood dreams of eventually owning them so anyway happy collecting guys and i'll see you next time